Sorry, ma'am. I can't let you pass. Please go home. Let me guess. Crater Labs isn't open for visitors today? Yeah, I've heard that before. When is it ever open for visitors? Not anytime soon. The lab is closed down due to the epidemic, and now go. What epidemic? Are you serious? You know what? I don't even care. I just want to talk to Captain Olga Strankova. She's a soldier in this tiny backwater too, probably your superior. I doubt it. I am General Martin Ravenhurst. Who are you? A journalist or something? Depends. Will you let me pass if I say yes? No. I'm just debating on the manner in which I'll have you removed from the premises if you won't back off by yourself. Use your powers. It's not Olga you want, it's your father, and he's in there for sure. Bitch is right. I need to get in there, and you won't stop me, you old camouflage fart. You can't be serious! <laughs> Barry! Yay, yeah. yeah, that's my mistress. <laughs> Too bad that didn't actually happen. Sorry for getting your hopes up. Alright, I'll back off then. I'm just a harmless old lady, no need to threaten me with violence. Translation, you have earned her wrath, and there's no going back. Prepare for a very unpleasant, very unsightly demise. How strange. That plant over there. Was it this big before? Not the last time I came. You know, that time your ex-husband borrowed me for an entire day and you didn't even notice I was gone? Never mind. He sent me here to investigate the lab, and I have a pretty good idea of what's awaiting you down there, but you wouldn't believe me even if I was able to tell you. That morning you remembered our night together, it just made you uncomfortable because a different personality had taken over. Now you claim you don't remember it at all. What has changed? This must be Dr. Strankov's room then. Nothing unusual here. Who else lives in this house? Loki. Oh, Tiamo. Sorry about that, you startled me. What use are enhanced vampire senses when you can't even hear another vampire coming? Why do you have Wilbika's wand? That's not her wand. It just happens to look a bit like hers. More like exactly the same. What are you doing here anyway? My mother told me you became a monk. Thanks for your concern brother Loki, but you don't have to accompany me to Strangerville. I can handle this little mission on my own. See you in a few days. So Strangerville is where you're headed. Interesting. I'll come anyway, just to make sure you don't screw anything up. I'm on a mission for the monastery. Really? And you're breaking into people's homes to hide crucifixes or something? Missionaries these days. What about you? I'm pretty sure you weren't invited either. Maybe not today, but I'm surprising my girlfriend Olga. Olga Strankova isn't your girlfriend. You're not exactly her type. And how do you know that? Oh right, you're from the future. So tell me, is Olga a historical celebrity in your time too, like Elise Donovan? Famous for stealing a certain object from a certain family for no apparent reason perhaps. Sounds more like the kind of thing your mother would be famous for. No, the only thing I know about Olga is that she existed, and rejected you. But if you want me to answer more questions about the future, you might as well make yourself useful in return and help me find what I'm looking for. What is it you're looking for? A keycard to get through the big door at Crater Labs. I'm sure the doctor has a spare hidden here somewhere. You could look for it in the bathroom. That's your mission. What kind of monastery are you staying at? It doesn't matter. Go outside, forget that we met. 
Tell your family that you couldn't find anything at Olga's house, and go home. Everything is under control. Fuck. Sorry, that was a rude thing to say, but... This doesn't work. Could you give it a try? Wilbiga? What? I can't get the door open with my lockpick. Well I don't even know how to use a lockpick, but I know someone who does. Do you want me to call her? The bar will probably open long before she gets here though. No, if Olga and her father are hiding in there, I'd rather not deal with any witnesses when we get to them. You could use your magic on the door. I don't have my wand with me. You're not completely powerless without it, are you? No, but... Alright, I'll try. Better step aside. Breaking the lock would have sufficed, but... That will do. Casting spells without a wand is a lot less precise, that's why they call it advanced magic. But I haven't used magic in a month, so I guess I'm out of practice anyway. Is there a reason for that? Oh dear. What happened to you, old Penelope? Something tells me the bar wouldn't have opened even if we had waited. Is that some kind of ivy? I've never seen anything like it before. I have. When the SCIA sent me to investigate this town, I was shown a picture of a room covered in tendrils like these, and they have the same colors as the strange plants growing right outside Crater Labs. This can't be a coincidence. Watch out! Will be good. This is one of the fans who pestered Tiamo the last time we were here. I thought that walking plant look was just some weird costume. What was that all about? Why didn't you defend yourself? Uh, grande. Shit. Get ready. It doesn't seem like we'll be going home anytime soon, so let's see if our old trailer is still vacant. What's this? Nothing you have to... Ah! Touch. Green heart of Sulani, blessed be, you whose power can stir up the sea. Help me out with a magic spell and send that old kraken back to hell. Who are you calling an old kraken? What do you think? Who am I pointing at? But one sea monster seldom comes alone, the kraken has brought back up in the form of the ugliest shark that has ever been seen roaming the ocean. And what are you, a pirate brat with a foul mouth and no manners? Time to teach you some. Come at me if you dare. Again, don't get your hopes up. That didn't actually happen, no matter how much we all wish it did. The only ugly thing around here is the spotty abomination that you call a face. Even the sun is hiding from it, because it sure as hell wasn't this cloudy the last time I came here. You don't like the weather? Oh, but of course, you're a kraken, you like it wet. How about I summon a thunderstorm for you? Yellow fins of Sulani, blessed be. Oh, just shut the fuck up. Tiamo. Did you find anything at Dr. Strankov's house? Just Loki, our friend from the future. Reverse Smurf? What's he doing here? Trying to get into the lab for some reason. He used his vampire powers to make me forget about that and go home, and I let him believe that it worked. But maybe we should really go home. Something doesn't feel right about this place. Not before we get the forbidden fruit back. But how come you were able to resist another vampire's attempt to brainwash you? I don't know, maybe I'm just getting stronger. Hey, is that rain? Don't know about you, but yeah, in my world, that's what you call it when water starts falling from the sky. Do you think that asshole kid's spell to summon a thunderstorm actually worked? Let's head somewhere dry for now. We can worry about reverse smurf later. Is that an occult strong box? Interesting. These exist in my time as well. 
They require the touch of a witch, a vampire, and a mermaid to open. You are neither of those things, Strankov. How do you ever get it open yourself? I found your private diary. An experiment log book of sorts. Let's see what you've been working on. My name is Dr. Oleg Strankov. Remember it well, as it will go down in history once I publish my report on this groundbreaking discovery that will forever enrich humanity's understanding of biology and our very own bodies. Not cocky at all, are you? I have to disappoint you though. In the future that I'm from, nobody has even heard of you. At the time of writing this preface, Project O2 has already yielded successful results, but is still in the early stages of development. Only further experimentation will reveal whether or not this promising premise will stand the test of time, and for this reason, I will keep documenting my findings in this logbook. First entry, March 1995. Um, hello. Strange people. Are you alright? She... She tried to put this in my mouth. What is that? Not sure, but I'm keeping it. Come on. We have to stop those plant zombies from overrunning the town. That's not really our problem, is it? Olga wasn't among them, neither was her father. We should go look for them somewhere else. But those things were trapped in here for a reason, and we're the ones who let them out. I can't let them get away. Is that the SCIA agent in you talking? Fine. Let's go save the world then. Where are they now? Good question. Do you have any idea what you've just done? Funny, I was going to ask you the same thing. Wilbika, what? Are you surprised to see me still alive? Yeah, it took me one week to recover after you shot me, but here I am, ready to return the favor. I'm afraid I don't know what you're talking about. Then maybe this will help you remember. As you wish. You two are coming with me. Am I dreaming? I had no idea thunderstorms like this were even possible in the middle of a dry desert. In that case, that's one wet dream I can definitely go without. More like a wet nightmare. Just my luck. Is it just me, or does that family show up everywhere lately? Not even the arse end of the world is safe anymore. You don't say. I came here to escape the strains of everyday life, which includes seeing your faces everywhere I go. And then you come to Strangerville of all places? My friend Olga told me it was a good place to relax, but fuck it, I was just about to leave anyway. You may want to reconsider that, given the weather conditions. I think the weather is perfect for a little stroll, unless of course the Whites' dude disagrees, in which case I have no choice but to change my mind. Not sure if it's of any concern, but the partially white dog disagrees with all the disagreements here, and would rather take a nap in silence. None of you should go outside right now. And I'm saying this because it's dangerous outside when it's dark, not just because being so close to my favorite superstar Tiamo Mamini gives me a feeling of dizziness, a racing heart, and wet panties. Ever heard of the term too much information? Sorry, I can't help it. Every time I open my mouth, nothing but the truth comes out. It has been like this for days now, and I don't even know why. Have you been consuming a strange looking red fruit by any chance? I don't know, honestly. There might have been a few spots of red in my lunch today, or maybe not. How can you not know what you've been eating? My husband Ted is the cook among us, but he hasn't been home lately, and since I can't cook to save my life, I've been living off the snacks that the curio shop sells. Ted. Yeah, I remember that guy. When was the last time you saw him? On Monday I believe, he 
he was feeling sick and wanted to see Dr. Strankov at the lab. Now that I think of it, the lab went into lockdown shortly thereafter because of the epidemic, so perhaps he's been stuck there ever since. Oops. Sorry. Why am I not surprised? Well, we're not getting into that lab anytime soon, not by legal means anyway, so we might as well pay that curio shop a visit once the rain lets up. You know, this is yet another situation you could easily get us out of, by simply blowing up the door. What about the soldiers that will inevitably come to check on us if I do that? Do you want me to blow him up too? That's not what this is about though, is it? Since when are you so opposed to using magic to solve your problems? Maybe magic isn't the solution to all our problems. Maybe it's what causes most of them in the first place. Well, those strange plant people that escaped from the old Penelope certainly didn't look like the result of a magic experiment gone awry. More like a scientific one. This town has had a drug problem since the last time I came here, and we all know the doctor is to blame. Fine by me, perhaps he can provide me with one that keeps me awake at night. What's wrong with sleeping at night? Do you have to work so hard for university that you don't find time for that anymore? Yes. Is that why you've been acting so strangely? You know you can talk to me, right? Even about things your family may not understand. I used to be a child psychologist. Don't waste your time on me then, because I'm not a child. I may look like one, but I'm really only a little bit younger than my brother. Your mother told me about that, but I can't wrap my head around it. So how old are you really? I was born roughly 27 years ago, but my body stopped visibly aging at 12, and my mind is somewhere in between. I don't know what caused this condition, but I do know I have magic to blame for it, not science. So I guess they're both equally bad. How has no one ever noticed that you're not growing up, if you've been living in the same place all your life? Again, magic. That is the answer to everything, and it only becomes more apparent the deeper you dig into our world. You're the only person outside my family who knows the truth, besides maybe a few people in the magic realm, and I'm sure my mother doesn't want me to talk about it, but, what does it matter? A few decades from now, she won't be around anymore to scold me, and my brother will turn into a monster that has to be killed, whereas I'll just keep living until the sun comes crashing down. That is my curse, and my subconscious is making sure to remind me of it every single night. What makes you think the guy at the curio shop will lead us straight to Dr. Strankov? The librarian said he's a conspiracy theorist trying to expose Crater Labs, not working with them. She also said she feels compelled to always tell the truth ever since she first bought a snack from his shop, which is a distinct side effect of the doctor's medicine, or rather, the strange red fruit he makes it from. If the shopkeeper puts that same fruit in his snacks, he must at least know something. Knowledge he may not be keen on sharing. Then we'll make him talk via the usual methods. I try to seduce him, and if that doesn't work you threaten him. Correct. Too bad. Seems we're late to the party. Erwin Prize, you are under arrest for espionage, obstruction of justice, and riling up the citizens of Strangerville in these already very difficult times. Better yet. What do we need that conspiracy theorist for, if we can have Olga instead? The law doesn't care about your noble intentions, as you put it. You still committed a crime, in accordance with paragraph 247.37 of the SVSG, also known as the Strangerville Survival Guide. And crimes need to be punished. Look who's talking. Want me to compile a list of your own crimes, Captain Strankova? Let's start with breaking and entering, theft, and grievous bodily harm. Don't forget the gaslighting after we slept together. That wasn't very nice either. Those are serious crimes indeed, but I fail to understand their relevance to the situation at hand. If you feel wronged by me, or anyone else in the Strangerville military, I encourage you to issue a formal complaint in accordance with paragraph 511.68b of the SVSG. In the meantime, you are advised to let me carry out my duty, or you too shall be arrested for obstruction of justice. I'll show you justice alright, you hypocritical gaslighting slut. Don't look at me, I'm not trolling you this time. This fight is actually happening. It's in your own best interest to stop attacking me. The plant zombies have escaped their temporary containment at Old Penelope. Who do you think will protect you from them if you take out the military? Plant zombies. What the hell? 
Now she's gone completely insane. Done. Too bad our old trailer is occupied. We need to take her somewhere quiet for questioning. Let's try old Penelope. She said the bar was being used as a prison of sorts, but not anymore, and they probably haven't reopened yet. Fine by me. Perhaps Will Bicker and Grande are still there too. No way. Not even the Maminis would do something like this. That man is a monster. That's ironic coming from you. Because according to the supernatural sensor in my bracelet, you are the monster in this room. And not just one type of monster either. I sense very strong vampire and mermaid energy, and something else. You're also a witch, aren't you? Of course you are, otherwise you couldn't have opened the strong box. I'll gladly give you a taste of my magic. Futile. This bracelet doesn't just detect magic, it also deflects it. Is that why you sent your daughter, or should I say, Project O2, to steal the forbidden fruit from the Maminis? No. This kind of immunity is a beneficial side effect of the Protegium, or the strange plant, as the uneducated layperson would call it. But you know, becoming invulnerable to black magic isn't my only endeavor, it's merely a means to an end. I don't understand this. Where did I go wrong? I stole all the plasma fruit extract from that girl on the bus, yet none of it seems to contain the active ingredient that I'm looking for. Because you got the wrong fruit. What? Who are you? Plasma fruit extract looks and tastes almost exactly like human blood and is therefore a popular drink among vampires, but not what turns them into vampires in the first place. That would be the forbidden fruit. What forbidden fruit? How do you know? A vampire's primary power is mind control, which is what you're after, right? I can help you with that, but you have to stop asking stupid questions and just do as I say. So you extracted the active ingredient that gives vampires their powers from the forbidden fruit. If you want them so bad, why don't you just eat the fruit and be done with it? And become a monster like you? No thanks. I have plans for this town that I cannot put into action if I have to hide from the sun and drink the blood of my patients. What plans are those? You'll find out soon enough. A few years from now, everybody will. <laughs>